Hi, this is Tina Lorenz. I'm your freelance copywriting mentor, mindset shifter, and transformational business coach. And today I want to share with you kind of a quiet message in a way. So I want to share a recent experience that I had about coming to a decision and a place of calm. Now, one of the things I teach in my copywriting programs, my mentoring programs, is both the mindset aspect of it and the spiritual dimension. And my students are called Celestial Sherpas for a reason, because it's about a journey both of, of guidance and also receiving messages and carrying a message forward. And so one of the things I teach about this is that it's there for us first. There's three levels of impact with this. And first is for ourselves. Second is for how we work with our clients, which I go deeply into in my programs. And the third level is the impact that those people have, the clients of the clients, if, if you will, and, and the people that are in their realm and in their world, whether it's their family, whether it's um, clients that they're serving, wh whomever that might be. So one of the practices I teach is about quiet contemplation. Now, there's a difference between meditation and kind of a more intentional inner journey of asking or a, that kind of divine guidance in that sense that also has to do with um, writing what you get and, and just not editing exactly what that what that turns out to be for you. But there's another aspect to this, but it, which I really think of more as a contemplation and there's a difference. And so with contemplation, the, the whole idea of that is that you're going to have a quiet practice, a quiet practice that allows you to just breathe into it and not really think too much that you let that uh, really that universal mind, that, that divine mind sp speak to you in a different way. And I had an experience with this just uh, very recently that has been kind of a, another one of those profound um, moments for me, kind of that, oh, okay, this is how this works. Because what I also want to share with you is this isn't like, oh, you know, you've got it figured out and that's it. You just do these practices. That's it. You understand it. End of story, right? It's what I have experienced with this is that it's an ongoing journey. It's a, it's a practice. It's kind of like a muscle that you flex, that you develop, that you grow more aware that you allow, allow more of this to actually become part of how you live your life all the time. So recently something happened with something in my business and I knew I had to make a decision that in the past, making this type of a decision might've been more of a struggle or kind of an overthinking or really trying to figure it out, like a really cerebral figuring it out, that if I just wrestled with it long enough, I would somehow feel some kind of sense of ease or an understanding of what that answer was, and there we go. And I don't know, maybe, have you ever felt like that where you're kind of engaged in a mental wrestling match with yourself and thinking that somehow doing that same thing over and over again is come up, gonna come up with a different result, right? That's a, a saying some of us have heard for quite a while of insanity definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, one aspect of this kind of quiet contemplation practice, that's also part of kind of the brain science of this too, is before you go to sleep at night, if you have something that you just, you're looking for that answer for, or there's, there's some kind of knowledge that you know you need to tap into, is that for the last thing before you go to sleep to actually ask for that answer, to just think about it for a moment, not in the sense of keeping you awake at night or with more of that mental wrestling match, but just a quiet asking that you will be shown what the answer is. So that was part of this practice that I did this and I woke up one morning with a just very clear message. The first thing that came into my mind was, it wasn't something I would have normally been thinking right when I awake in, in the morning, but it was like the, like an answer, like a very definitive statement. And I, I knew that I quote heard it, not in, I'm not talking about an audible voice in my head or anything, but just, I don't know quite how to describe that. It's maybe it's a different experience for everyone, but just a very, very clear statement that had no kind of question to it at all. It was just very firm. So I, I took that as my starting point. And then one of my practices is uh, to be able to, I'll call it my celestial Sherpa practice in the morning to be able to, for me, it's outdoors. So we go sit outdoors. My husband and I sit outdoors together. And sometimes we're having conversation, but there's a certain part of that that's just quiet. And, and it's not really trying to think about anything. It's just like watching the hummingbirds, hearing the sounds of them flying around, looking, listening to the sounds of the fountain, looking at the morning light, and just truly just enjoying the moment and feeling gratitude 
but also not really overthinking anything, just kind of allowing, just allowing. And that's the word I really want you to get out of this is allowing. Because when we talk about manifesting or how can I make this happen, or I know I have a block about money or whatever the thing is that I might hear from some of the people I work with, that if we can just take that first step of allowing instead of trying to um, go forcefully into, I'm going to manifest, I'm going to create, I'm going to make something happen. This answer has to happen now. You know, there, there's kind of a tension behind that. There's a, a, an energetic tension and, and push and pull to that. But what I experienced was I had this profound sense of calm, really inner calm. And it wasn't here. It was more here, more at the real core level, really the heart level, the chakra, heart chakra, the spirit level of, of just I hardly knew how to describe it. I said to my husband, you know, this decision, I just know, I just know what it is it, with complete calm, with complete assurance, not with any kind of anxiety or lingering feelings of upset with anything or anything like that, or even having to think what happens next when I make this decision. This decision is so, so profoundly centered that I, I experienced it in a way that I have, I, I have to say, I've never experienced it quite like this because I even was saying to Ron, it's like, I feel just completely calm, completely calm with this, of really knowing, really knowing that sense of knowing. Whereas before I described it to him almost like, think of it like a circle, right? The circle, the right in the center was this pool of calmness. And over on this side, let's say this is agitated, you know, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Which would be a way I might have thought it at some point, you know, maybe not too long ago, I might have thought like that. And on this side, this other kind of agitated aspect of, and what happens next? What happens next? What happens next? Right? And so, and, and those things usually, I think for a lot of us can be so loud, those two things that there is no center pool of calm. There is none that they're just kind of colliding off of each other, like some kind of atomic reaction and you're not really feeling any sense of peace and you're working over it over, you're ruminating on it. You're thinking it over and over again. You're revisiting it. You're, you know, asking your friends or your loved ones or your spouse or your partner or whatever. What do you think? What do you think? Is this the right thing? What if this happens? Whew, even just saying it like that, can't you feel that, that chaotic energy, right? But in this moment, it was just like completely the opposite. It was like, I didn't have to look at that agitation on this side. And I didn't have to look at this agitation on that side. All I had to do was completely trust that pool, that circle of calm that was telling me so absolutely that it was like a, almost like a physical manifestation of that calmness that I knew exactly what I needed to do. Exactly. Without any doubt, without any question, I took that step. I did the thing that I knew I was supposed to do and I felt this lightning and I don't mean like a bolt of lightning, but literally a lifting, a lifting, <sighs> a, a deep sigh of relief. Um, really kind of a joyful feeling actually uh, without any doubt whatsoever that that was exactly what I was to do. And it came from such a deeper place than just trying to figure it out. So I wanted to share that with you today, that, that if you're feeling like, well, I'm not sure, and should I do this or should I do that? And what if this happens, you know, that chaos starts. If you can just find wherever that place is for you, literally physical place that you can just go sit for a while, uh, someplace you retreat to, someplace that you turn to for comfort. Maybe it's a nice soft chair, or cozy couch and a soft blanket, whatever it might be for how you get comfortable. For me here, as the weather's cooling in the morning and and then we have this beautiful light in October. It's just, it's outdoors. And so this is like a very essential part of my day and a very grounded feeling of being outdoors and, and next to the earth, basically. And just allow, just allow. Instead of sitting there thinking about the thing, whatever the thing may be, just take a break, take that deep breath. You don't have to sit with your eyes closed or anything else to do this. Just allow, just be and feel some sense of gratitude also for whatever your experience is in that moment, that moment of comfort, that moment of serenity, that moment of retreat, uh, that, whatever that feels like for you to just feel into that, that gratitude feeling and just the full understanding that if you just allow what's to come to come to you, that you may be very surprised 
at the sense of calm that you have around something that you might be thinking about or deciding about or wondering if you should do or what do you do next or how do I resolve this kind of an issue and it was honestly a great feeling really a great feeling and you know even though I've been practicing a lot of these things for some years now I find that it just strengthens your understanding of it strengthens your connection to what that divine source is continues to strengthen and open up for you if you just allow okay so I've been thinking about it ever since I, I realized how calm I felt and and how and that wasn't just in the moment it's continued it's continued and there was a very um, an ease into the resolution it, I, I knew what to do next I was able to take that step next and everything came together very smoothly very beautifully without any further mental wrestling <laughs> match or anything like that so I hope that's helpful to you as well and I'll be interested to hear um, if you if you have any feedback about that, if you've experienced that, that allowing. So I guess that's the word of the day is allow. Not thinking hard, not trying hard to attract, not doing a whole bunch of, you know, positive mantras, any of that stuff, things we may use for other tools and, and other ways that we deal with our own thoughts and our own thinking and, and how we manifest things in our life. But just finding that pool of calm and enjoying it and just resting into it and trusting it. I think that's the other thing really trusting it and being aware and saying yes this this is how easy this can be this is how easy this can be you know sometimes when people talk about doing things with ease in their business and having that ease there's been times where i've thought oh yeah well that would be nice i wonder how you do that right how do you feel that ease and, and i'm sure there's many times i've thought that and there can be times now where i think that because because i have deadlines or because i um push myself to do the next thing or whatever it might be that sometimes that there's a high energy behind that but just that allowing and that ease and knowing that you can have that place to go even if you're not leaving home or going anywhere else but that's an inward journey that that manifests itself to you in a way that's um, very meaningful very effective smarter than you are <laughs> smarter than i am so to speak you know it, it's beyond what, what that we're just going to figure out right and, and then trusting that and, and letting that process unfold and kind of proving to yourself exactly how effective this is. That's what I have for you today. I hope that that was helpful to you. I'll, I'll be looking forward to hearing any of your comments about that. And until next time, which happens to be tomorrow, I'll talk to you again soon.